This is Next Radio. With Broadcast Bionics, innovative solutions for creative people. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Rick Blacksill. I'm Music and Content <coughs> Director for Bauer Media. Uh, I work with various PDs and MDs uh, across the group on music and content strategy. And I'm also PD for Heat Radio, Kerrang Radio, and Planet Rock Radio. Now, you may not be aware of the history and the scale of Bauer Media, so I'm going to show you a short film to introduce you properly to the company that began life in So Bauer has a lot of history as both a publisher and a broadcaster, and it's a growing Bauer media story, and you can see some of the key and diverse brands that we've got behind me. But now there's a revolution in our thinking. Yvonne Bauer, the CEO of Bauer Media Group, Herr Bauer's daughter, her vision is for one Bauer media. So removing the hangover of the silo mentality of the old EMAP days and exploring what we have globally, which is 200 million consumers in 18 different territories. We're looking to share content, talent, and brands across the world where we can. Like building a relationship between Heat Magazine in the UK and In Touch Magazine in America. Like setting up an American office for Empire so it can get closer to the movie, to the movie industry. And looking at how we can share radio and TV content around the world, so bringing greater benefit to talents, artists, and bands that we can work with by amplifying reach and awareness in key territories. The re recent Bauer Place Portfolio gig with Robbie Williams was broadcast around the UK. The new thinking is how we could share that internationally with other Bauer stations. And as the market has been changing, Bauer's been exploring to see what we can acquire to strengthen the business creatively, editorially, and commercially. In December, Bauer bought ACP magazines in Australia. That publishes 80 magazines across Australia. And at the beginning of the year, as you know, we bought Planet Rock, and most recently, Absolute Radio. We've been very considered and looking at the best way to build the business, but now Bauer is picking up the momentum. We've just been waiting for the best time to make the best deals. So the worldwide ambition for Bauer is strong, and as Bauer continues to grow as well across the UK, you can see the current state of play behind me. We reach 39% of the population through our radio stations, TV channels, and magazines. We reach over 15 50% of all 15 to 24s and 15 to 34s. And the acquisition of Planet Rock means that Bauer now targets more men in the past and creating more content and wider commercial opportunities for the company. 36% of our audience are in the commercially desirable ABC1 demograph. 
So we're creating a lot of connections and a lot of relationships with listeners and commercial partners. And this demonstrates our strategy of being on in all the right places, continuing to succeed. And we have strong affiliates too, such as our Channel 4 Box TV deal. If you add in the TV audience, we reach 70% of the UK population with our brand, station and content, reaching nearly 80% of all 15 to 24s and 15 to 34s, and 70% of the valuable ABC1 demograph. All of this is increasing Bauer's reach and influence across the UK. The editorial values and production values of Bauer brands make them a trusted and engaging source in a market where audiences are fragmented. It might be an endorsement from Steven Spielberg for, for Empire magazine. It might be James Corden dressing up exclusively as David Beckham for Heat magazine. Or it might be Avenge Sevenfold getting their first UK number one out new, uh, album uh, last week and thanking Kerrang! and Planet Rock for the consistent support. Whatever we're doing, we're trusted by listeners and by the talent we work with alike. And we've also tidied up our radio brands into two portfolios, Passion and Place. Passion has just recorded its highest ever reach of 7.6 million adults each week. That consists of Kiss, Heat, Kerrang, Planet Rock and The Hits. Place portfolio reaches 8.5 million listeners across the UK with local stations targeting local audiences with local content. And we also use local events to engage with audiences. Manchester, Liverpool, Leeds, Newcastle, Belfast, Glasgow all host local arena music-based events. And these are well supported by the music industry as they create direct engagement with listeners. They bring artists closer to audiences and cities outside of London. And artists have seen a benefit in regional sales post-events. And across the radio market, Bauer's strong radio, radio growth has been led by digital, digital listening and digital connections continue to increase across the business. If radio for Bauer is 14 million, we have 7 million other connections through social touch points such as apps, Facebook, websites and Twitter. We're taking content and quality to listeners through our social transmitters. And we understand the role of digital and the need to be always on for consumers. And this is about the need to engage with fragmented audiences, to be a trusted source in a digital world as well as an analog world. And the importance of multi-channel and social media delivery and our audiences are ultimately the most important thing for us. So we need to be always on for them. I'm going to show you a short film <clears throat> giving some examples of how we're always on, how we inspire, engage and connect with our consumers across many passions, hobbies and lifestyles. We're trying innovations with Heat, Kiss, Empire, Grazia, trialing and exploring what we can do, such as using QR codes and augmented reality to bring static content to life. brings me on to Heat. Heat started life as a magazine and its journey has been successful, fun and constantly evolving. Heat now just isn't a magazine though, it's a broadcast model. We reach 4 million consumers across our multiple platforms with the brand. The magazine, radio, the app, Heat World Online and Heat TV. And the relationship between the magazine and the radio station is so strong that the Heat Radio studio is actually in the Heat magazine offices. This gives the station and listeners instant access to breaking entertainment stories, which then instantly appear on Heat World. So the journey from on air to online is instant, and it's what Heat consumers and listeners want. And the Heat editor Lucy Cave's weekend show gives unique insight into the world of Heat itself. And I can now reveal that in October, we're putting more investment into Heat Radio. 
and we're going to be launching a new live weekday evening show onto the schedule. The new show will give listeners access to the Heat team to discuss the big entertainment stories of the day. So a soapbox for opinion and discussion. Live conversations happening about entertainment content. And it's been an impressive year as well for KISS. The KISS main brand, KISS 100, now reaches over 200 million listeners in London for the first time. And nationally, KISS reaches 4 million listeners across the UK and has just launched new digital stations, KISS Dream and KISS Fresh, introducing more music and newer artists to the KISS audience and responding to, to demand. KISS Dream is an engaging and growing feature within KISS 100 and now it has its own station responding to what listeners want. The KISS brand now covers both ends of the musical scale and everything in between with its multi-channel strategy. It's important for listeners and also for the music industry to get such breadth and such support. And the Kiss, tu and the Kiss Cube has now had over 1.2 million downloads. Listeners are taking Kiss with them wherever they want, wherever they are, 24-7. All this demonstrates the Kiss strategy of being on in all the right places in action. And the, and the station has just had a su successful Kiss 3 CD compilation released, selling way beyond the record company's expectations. So moving musical genres, for Bauer now, the amps are on, and it's growing its rock portfolio. Absolute Radio is our new friend, subject to regulatory approval. And I can't be drawn on anything to do with Absolute Radio at this time, as we're respectful of the OFT process. But what I can say is we're really looking forward to the opportunity to learn and share experiences between Bauer and the Absolute Radio team, from S&P to digital excellence to programming. With commercial radio in good health, and Bauer reaching over 14 million listeners for the first time, and Absolute Radio celebrating some really great figures. It's positive for commercial radio to have a strong, healthy, commercially smart, and digitally powerful brands to compete and develop programming and content. And Kerrang! is a key part of our rock portfolio. The station is sounding strong. It's gone through some changes, but the spirit and passion of Kerrang! is still live and kicking, and it has one million digital listeners. The talented Kate Lawler starts our day during the week as a natural communicator. And we've introduced new on-air talent, and it's important to keep developing this. Alex Baker, Dan Hudson, Kevin Hingley, Jake Thompson, and Louise Maloney are all exciting new on-air talent, and importantly, multi-skilled as producers and social media engineers. We also share talent across Kerrang! and Planet Rock. Johnny Doom presents on both stations, showing different sides to his rock personality. And content is living and breathing on Kerrang! Live sessions have just returned with the editors doing the first Bowling for Super coming up next. Takeovers have returned. Avenge Sevenfold and Corn have delivered theirs, and we're in direct conversation with Gerard Leto from 30 Seconds to Mars to deliver his. So we're bringing artists closer to listeners. An unsigned music is championed each week on, on Kerrang! by Alex Baker. The show is a really trusted A&R source by the music industry. Def Havana being a recent band played and supported first by Alex before they got their deal. So it's not only the BBC supporting unsigned music, commercial radio is doing that as well. And now we come on to Planet Rock. Yeah. Joined the Bauer family at the beginning of the year, an important part of our rock portfolio, and we're really pleased with the progress so far. And Planet Rock is now on FM in the West Midlands, the spiritual home of classic rock. Early signs and listeners are liking what they're hearing. And it was important as well we achieved our highest ever digital figures this year because this was without an FM figure being added in, a landmark breakthrough figure achieved through pure digital listening of which everyone involved with the station is really proud. And we've also got passionate and informed presenters. Al Murray, a comedian, a genuine rock fan, a genuine musician, and listeners like his passion for music. Joe Elliott, the lead singer of Def Leppard, his weekly, show, his weekly show plays more eclectic rock music than anybody else, and listeners love the journey he takes them on. And Alice Cooper is a rock legend, more anecdotes and insight about rock stars than anyone else, and listeners love what he shares as well. And a new sign-in is Duff McKagan. Duff the goat, is the bass player from Guns N' Roses and just hosted a series for us on how to play bass in, uh, and create great bass riffs in rock songs. And we've got an engaged audience. The recent Iron Maiden competition on Planet Rock crashed the whole of the Bauer tech system because there were so many entries in such a short amount of time. Facebook for the station is growing by 1,000 a week. Twitter is growing by 300 a week, debunking the myth that social media is predominantly used by a younger and more female demographic. 
And it's also, Planet Rock is also hosting its first events. Its first event, Planet Rockstock. And that's happening in December with a variety of artists from Hawkwind to the Temperance Movement uh, playing live, 1,800 Planet Rock listeners in one place at the same time, meeting the bands, meeting the presenters, and meeting each other. And there will be more live activity with Planet Rock in, in 2014. And as a business, we saw an opportunity to have two influential Bauer brands working together. So Mojo Rocks is a new show we've introduced, which brings Phil Alexander, the, in, the editor of Mojo, onto the air every week, again giving good insight into music, into artists, and joining musical stories that let bands like Let Live and Metallica join themselves closer together. So we're rich in content. And also, the music offer is distinct and deep on Planet Rock. We've got 1,600 active tracks, and core artists such as ACDC have 34 active tracks in rotation. Led Zeppelin have 30. Pink Floyd have 25. This isn't rock light. This is pure classic rock with depth. And I would buy a beer for anyone who could list me 34 ACDC tracks and any other radio station in the world with a depth of one artist's music in rotation. So this morning, first period, you've had a history lesson, the current state of the Bauer Nation, the importance of digital content and engagement of some, some key Bauer brands. So the final verse, how are we raising the profile of the business through our operational pillars? Well, the first is attention to engagement with audiences, using consumer insights so we can grow the most valuable audiences in a new digital age, using regular online and field research to help engagement issues so we can understand the listener and client issues on technology, on radio and the digital future and target music, content and commercial in the best possible way. The next pillar is product excellence and creativity. They define the very spirit of Bauer. We are now more in balance with research. Science and art are working closer together with renewed focus on the creative process. We now champion product excellence and creativity. And then there's customer service to both listeners and clients. Attention to detail and going the extra mile, or actually, it's not that busy. We want to find the speediest route to consumers for our Bauer advertisers. With the scale of Bauer, we want to help advertisers and commercial partners get to the relevant channels in the quickest time. And digital, digital escalation. The new head of digital, Mark Hardy, joined us from Psycho, where he created the strategy for Psycho X like One Direction. This gives us a new start with a bigger team, work going across all of the platforms with digital marketing, social media engagement, and delivering content through streaming. There's a lot of ongoing work, but we're becoming more innovative. So plenty going on, and all in all, plenty to get on with. So thank you very much for your time. We're a big group now, and they're a growing group, so it's really good to hear a bit of history, a bit of background, and to find out a bit about what their uh, plans, or, uh, plans are and what kind, of, um, what kind of fuels their strategy, really. And it just picks off things in your brain or kind of conversations with other people from the industry that you maybe wouldn't have had sat at your desk with your colleagues. Uh, what I've enjoyed the most today has been being able to meet people and being here in this amazing place with all these radio professionals. This is Next Radio. Next Radio. With broadcast by Onyx. Innovative solutions for creative people.